Hi and welcome to this video about the patch tool. I'm recording this video in my Photoshop CS5 but it applies equally to all versions of Photoshop ever. Unfortunately it doesn't apply to elements so you guys have some healing tools but not the patch tool. I'm grateful to Rahul for letting me use this photo and what I'm going to discuss today are removing a few things. There's a, a thumb here um, some fluff on the shirt and most importantly a, a few creases in the neck which I'd like to reduce. So I'm going to show you first the outcome. Uh, so this is where I started and this is where I finished. I'll just show you that again before, after, before, after. So I hope you can see that there was a thumb there and the creases there and then when I flick the thumb is gone the creases are reduced. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Now if you are editing and you're using your adjustment layers that's as I was have done here, I've already done some levels work to this photo um, and that's okay. Pixel work like healing and cloning has to be done at the bottom of the layer stack so in this case I would just turn off all the other adjustment layers um, so I'm just looking at the background layer and I'm going to start with the thumb down here. So I'm going to zoom in, have a, a good look at that. Never worked directly on the background layer, of course, so I hit Control J to make a copy of it. Um, I might even rename this. This video is mainly about the patch tool, but the first thing I need to show you, and some of you will be aware of it already is when the patch tool doesn't work and that is against the edges of an image. Patch tool works best on, well I've said before it works on islands um, that is uh, an island is a piece of land with water entirely around it and the patch tool only works well on elements of a photo with another clean color entirely around it. Now I'll show you if I draw a patch selection, I'm just dragging around here. Now that's around the thumb but it's included the edge of the image and then to you use the patch tool you just uh, click in that selected area and drag over to an area of clean plain texture that you want to use. Now I do that and it doesn't work right because it's going well I, I had no frame of reference for the underside of your selection here so I kind of have to go with the pixels that were there and it's a mess. So that's your first lesson about the patch tool. It doesn't work against an edge. So what you need to do is get the trusty old clone tool first. And I've pressed S to get that. Uh, I'll just make sure that the clone opacity is 100%. Um, always make sure it's set to sample current and below. By default it might be on current layer. and eh, That works most of the time, but current and below is the best one for sure. Um, I'm going to assume you already know how to use the clone tool, won't go into it too much, but basically you hold down the Alt key or Option if you're on a Mac to choose the area you want to sample from. Now what I'm going to do, I don't need to clone out the whole thumb here, I just need to make the thumb an island, remember? So then I'll go back to my patch tool, J is the shortcut, and I'll select carefully around there, so the entire selection line is in plain texture. Then I drag over there and it's worked beautifully. I'll just turn that layer off and on between the cloning and then the swoosh of the patch. It's gone. Now while I'm on that uh, thumb layer I'm also going to clean up uh, these little bits, these specks here on the shirt. Now I can use the patch tool for that as well. I can go around there then drag to a nearby area of clean texture. Now the patch tool works fine but isn't necessarily the quickest for this although it is pretty fast but um, you can often use the spot healing brush tool for this one and uh, it just I just paint my little area on there and I'll get rid of those. I'm not going to dwell on this for too long because I imagine you've probably seen this in action. It's a pretty magic kind of little dealy and it's great for little spots. Don't 
try and use it on terribly big areas and again uh, don't use it near edges or if you do be very careful about it yeah. near edges you may find you need to use the clone tool put that there that's okay all right so you get the idea with that patch tool would have worked as well but the spot one it's it's pretty quick and cool for this kind of stuff all right so I'll just zoom back out I'll turn that layer off and on a few times to have a look at what I've removed there good now I turn my attention to these neck creases now what I tend to do here um, is remove the creases all together on a layer, a separate layer, and then reduce the opacity of that layer a bit. So the creases come back to show through naturally a little bit, but um, lighter, you know what I mean? Now I use the same method for eye bags as well, and in fact I've got an article about that which I'll link below this video. Uh, so for adults, you know, with prominent eye creases, I would do the same thing, remove them entirely, and then reduce the opacity of the layer. So that, when I was doing this the first time, this edit the first time, that was my plan with this one. It didn't quite work out that way as uh, you'll see in a second, but so what I would do is I'll duplicate that thumb layer again um, and I'll just call it neck I guess. Okay, so and then I'll grab my patch tool, whoops, up there and then I'll start removing these lines. So I'll do bit by bit. I'll get that bit first and I'll drag it up to an area of clean flat texture. Remember with the patch tool the area you drag to doesn't need to be the same exact color or tone. I mean it kind of helps if it does and it shouldn't be wildly different. Try not to uh, drag a red area of skin onto a blue area of sky or whatever but um, it doesn't need to be exact because the patch tool is actually just borrowing the texture mainly from that area. Do another bit around here and then drag. I've got a nice flat area. Now it's worth pointing out that the reason I can get away with this method here is that this is a child's beautiful smooth skin. If this was an older person's skin with lots of texture it, this edit would be much more difficult you know I'd be having to do careful dodge and burn and so forth. But now it's it's a child's skin, it's beautifully smooth. So I'm just taking it chunk by chunk and removing this crease altogether. Now this is a tricky bit. It's gonna carefully go up around there. Alright, I'll just zoom out a bit and Turn that layer off and on. It's a little bit lumpy there, isn't it? So I'll grab that bit, maybe there. Um, always allow enough time to do this stuff well. You know, you don't want to get found out. You don't want to want. You don't want to people. Don't want people to know you've been photoshopping. That's the key to it. Now, there's a little dark patch here. I'm, worried that I'm a bit too close to the edge, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah, I think I got away with that. And up there, that's not too bad. So, this is where I was at earlier. Oops, a little bit there. And I, I stopped here and I turned this off and on. And I was about to lower the opacity of the layer. Uh, but actually, I realized that I kind of like the photo with that crease gone altogether. Um, now, I'm going to do these ones, and those, those will have to stay to a degree. But I really found that that was quite flattering, I thought, with that one gone completely. So, I'm going to leave the opacity of that layer at 100%. And I'm going to do it on another layer that I can lower the opacity on for the other wrinkle. So, I'll control J to duplicate that layer again. Um, it can stay called net copy, that's fine. And then I start the process again, removing these creases. 
and you know, I'll see if I can get away with a bigger chunk there and around there Ooh, uh, I don't know about that I think that might have been a bit too big that one so I'll do this in some smaller segments Yeah, it's looking a bit weird there. Um, so, yes, it can be said that I'm using more patch tool to fix my <laughs> patch tool mistakes, but again, like I said, because this is a child's beautiful smooth skin, I can get away with that. Yeah, I guess you'd call it cheating. Um, but hey, if you can get away with it, why not cheat, right? Okay, getting into smaller bits here. I really don't like the mess I've made of this. Bit of a line there, perhaps. And a bit of a lump there. And maybe one there. Okay, now, I'm treading really carefully as I get close to the jawline. If I were to come around here, and do that, then it really mangles the jawline, doesn't it? I, I can't do that. So now that I'm that close, I will need to use the clone tool. I'll press S to get my stamp tool, um, and I'll lower my opacity using, uh, I might even use 10% to be safe. Sometimes you can get away with 20 for this kind of work, but lower is certainly safer. So I'm just gently caressing those areas to smooth that out. Uh, okay, I'm going to zoom back out now. Turn that layer off and on. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not Perfect, I'll just go back and patch tool for that bit. Eh. No, I don't like that. <laughs> it's worse. Okay. Alright, it's not perfect, but with this one I know I am going to lower the opacity to bring those creases back a bit. So I'll drop my opacity by a fair bit. Um, maybe fiddle around about halfway there. Turn that layer off and on. Okay, that's an improvement. I still think the creases are a bit stronger than I'd like, so I'll, I'll increase the opacity of that perfect layer, maybe 60%. Okay, so... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. The creases are still there, so I haven't made it unnatural, some sort of android child. Um, but they're just not as prominent, you know? And so I feel that's a bit more flattering. So now I might have a look at the entirety of my edit. And then I might turn the other layers back on. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks and I hope you agree. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and learn a bit of stuff about the patch tool. It's a great tool when it works and it works most of the time but remember the islands thing. Don't go, don't use the patch tool if the detail you're trying to remove is touching some other detail like where those creases were touching the chin line over here um, and don't use it when it's at the edge of an image. All for the same reason because it tries to blend stuff that can't really be blended. So as good as the patch tool is, there is always still place for the good old clone tool. Thanks for watching.